All right, and video number five uh, is um, a video about using colors inside Dynamo and Revit to visualize different kind of data. I think this is a really powerful tool to, as I said, visualize data. Any kind of parameter, or any kind of data, really, you can um, assign colors to a view or visualize in different kinds of ways. This tutorial um, is going to use the deflection parameter, the reporting parameter inside the four-point adaptive component families, um, and assign colors to the different values of these, um, of the different panels with different uh, values for the deflection uh, parameter. Um, first of all, first off, I'm going to um, collect all the adaptive components into one node or one list. I'm going to flatten it for um, no real reason and assigning all the elements to an element get parameter value by name node that's going to pull out all the deflections as meters actually um, for us to use. Uh, next up, I'm going to have to convert these meters, uh, the length parameters, into just real numbers or just um, normal numbers uh, because the color co the color nodes inside Dynamo uh, only don't react very well to, to unit lengths. Um, I'm going to make a color um, override in view. This is going to be the final node that's going to apply colors to my Revit view based on the numbers and um, the colors. In order to use these numbers as colors, I have to remap the numbers so they correspond to something that colors can understand, uh, basically numbers between 0 and 255. Um, <clears throat> and the remap range uh, node will do just that for me. I introduce a cool block with from 0 to 250 set a new minimum and new maximum, map all numbers, and they now change accordingly, um, reflecting the deflection as color values. I'm going to use these numbers as the red value and just use the, the zero values for all the other colors. Mapping the elements to the elements and the colors to the colors, uh, pressing run. Now in your Revit view, we'll have colors um, reflecting the, uh, the different deflections for each panel. You can see the most red panels have more deflection, while the blue or non-colored panels we now, will now um, visualize the panels that have no, no uh, or little deflection. You can change your resolution or the amplitude, um, change anything inside the Dynamo definition, and, and it will update instantaneously, and all the colors will update reflecting the new parameters um, to use in your in your design procedure. I think this is a really powerful way of communicating, uh, for instance, constructability in this uh, example, but any other kind of thing um, on Revit families um, in, a, in a model.